Assalamu alaikum class. How are you all? I hope that you all are fine. Last time we have studied different methods for the preparation of alkanes. In this video lecture we will discuss about the activity of alkanes. Now come to the video lecture. First of all, alkanes are also known as paraffins. These are also known as the paraffins. Now question is that why alkanes are known as paraffins? Paraffins term is derived from two type of words. First is para and second is affins. Para means less. And affins mean affinity. Affinity. It means alkanes are have less affinity with others, and we can also say that these are non-polar. These are non-polar. So these are least reactive. What are the major factors that makes alkane least reactive? Those factors are non-polar nature of non-polar nature of bond We know that in case of alkane Carbon makes single bond with other carbon atom or with other hydrogen atom. So, carbon has electronegativity 2.5. Electronegativity of carbon is 2.5 and electronegativity of hydrogen is 2.1. And when we calculate the electronegativity difference, then it comes almost 0.4. And it is very low electronegativity difference. Due to low electronegativity difference, we consider alkane as a non-polar. This electronegativity difference shows that alkanes are non-polar. Alkanes are non-polar in nature non-polar in nature and if any compound is non-polar then we can say that it is least reactive what is the second parameter second parameter is the inertness of sigma bond inertness of sigma bond Sigma bond. We know that in sigma bond there is head to head overlapping of orbitals like this one. If we have orbital like this and second orbital is like this, there is head to head overlapping between the orbitals, and here is nuclei and here is another nuclei. The electrons are present in between these two nuclei. And in this case, nucleus has positive charge, and this nucleus has also positive charge, and electrons are negatively charged, are present on the nuclear axis. So this nuclei is attracting these electrons toward itself, and this nuclei is also attracting electrons toward itself. So we can say that electrons are tightly bounded between two nuclei in case of sigma bond. In case of sigma bond. So if we have any nucleophile, if we have any nucleophile, sorry, if we have any electrophile. Electrophile is the species which loves for the electron and it likes to attack on electrons. In this case, no electrophile can attack on these electrons because electrophile is also positively charged. 
it is also positively charged when it wants to attack on these electrons it can be severely repelled by these two nuclei and this electronic pair these electrons also cannot attack on the electrophile so the sigma bond is inert this also makes alkene non reactive so we conclude that we can conclude that alkanes are least reactive alkanes are least reactive this is the important question in intermediate class that why alkanes are least